What's up you guys and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, you've never seen any of my videos, you don't even know how I showed up on your feed, but you was intrigued and you clicked the play button and now you're watching my video. My name is Amanda Marie over here. I love to discuss all things fragrance. I'm so into fragrances, okay? I'm into smelling good. So if you're someone that is into smelling good and you love fragrances, maybe you're trying to build a collection, maybe you just want to know a little bit more about a fragrance, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Make sure it turns gray, okay? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some new fragrances. I have five new fragrances that I wanna talk to you guys about. Uh, three of them were actually gifted to me and two of them I actually bought with my own money. The two I bought with my own money is really a continuum of the Latafa dupes. Y'all know Latafa, AKA LaDupe, what I like to call the brand. They have been duping everything lately. I mean, not just down to the juice, but down to the packaging and I'm not mad at it. I have to say, y'all know I love a good dupe. I'm not the type of person that just rocks, you know, name brand fragrances, designer fragrances, niche fragrances. Hell, if it smells good to me, I'm going to wear it. So I'm super excited to get into those two dupes. Actually, on Instagram, you guys have been raving about those dupes. They're the best dudes, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. So you know your girl had to try them out for herself. But we're gonna get into that later on in the video. But right now, since I have this fragrance in my hand, we're gonna start with this one. This is from the house of Mechalel. Okay, this is their newest release. This is called Red Colorado. I wanna say this fragrance came out maybe two or three months ago, maybe longer than that. It hasn't been out that long. You guys, it's, it's fairly new. And I was super excited when the brand reached out to me and offered to send me a fragrance. I didn't know what fragrance I was gonna get, or did I? Did I know, girl? Did you know? I'm thinking I didn't know. I was thinking I was gonna get like, I don't know, one of their newer releases that's more feminine. I will be honest with you guys, this fragrance leans very masculine in my opinion. It is labeled as a unisex fragrance, but when I get into the notes and the breakdown, I will have to say this fragrance leans very masculine to me. But I love their bottles. I love their packaging. I was super impressed with um, the package. Again, I don't know if I said this already, but this is my first M. Mechalef fragrance. I don't own any M. Mechalef in my collection. I've always been intrigued by Lang and Gold, but I never picked it up. I've watched a bunch of reviews on it, and from my recollection, I think it reminds me, or a lot of people say it reminded them of something else. I can't put my name on it right now, but I do intend on grabbing a sample or a decant of that fragrance before I just pull the trigger and buy it. I know I can get it on uh, different discount websites for the low, but if it's going to remind me of something else, I don't know if I'm just like that eager to jump on it because I'm trying to cut that out. I really don't want to be redundant with my collection and keep buying the same damn fragrances all over again and they all smell alike. No, nah, honey, I did that, honey, a year ago, two years ago. Yeah, we ain't doing that no more. We, ain't, we not gonna keep buying the same fragrances over and over again. If it smell like something I already have, I'm not picking it up. But anyway, that I just went on a little rant there. Let's get reel it in, okay, Amanda, reel it in, and let's get back on Red Colorado. Let me read you guys some of the notes that are in this fragrance. In the top, you have cypress, pine, and you can already see where we're going with this, right? Cypress and pine, they're really gonna give you like a fresh, woody type of smell okay there's bergamot there's fur that's another woody note there's green leaf in the middle you get guayac wood you get pine you get patchouli in the base you get sandalwood woody notes cedar and rose and you get leather and vanilla 
You guys can already tell just from the notes that this is a very woody fragrance, okay? It is heavy on the woods. And I've already worn it. I don't know if I've worn it out like a full day's wear yet, have I? I don't think so. I think I just kind of wore it around my apartment and, you know, tested it out that way. I wish I would have, uh-oh, child, is this, like, this not spraying? What's going on? Child, hold on now. There we go. It didn't want to spray for me. I wish, oh my God, the woods, the woods are hitting me immediately. Immediately, the woods. I mean, that's like off rip, y'all. Like, <laughs> it's woody, okay? It's woody. I wish I would have received this fragrance early fall, okay? Or even like mid-winter so that I could have enjoyed it a little bit more. The woods, the woods is getting into me. Like I feel it in my throat. Even though this fragrance is listed as a unisex scent, it's coming off extremely masculine to me. You guys know I'm not afraid of masculine fragrances. I've said it a hundred times in my videos. I am that girl, okay? I love masculine scents. For the most part, okay, I am into gourmands. Every now and again, I will rock a floral fragrance, but I do like extremely unisex scents. It's kind of sort of leaning a little bit more masculine. Those are the fragrances that I usually go for. I don't think this is gonna be for a lot of you girlies out there that actually like resonate with me on certain fragrances like we love some of the same fragrances. I don't know if you're really gonna dig this, to be honest with you. You're definitely gonna have to be, if you're a woman, you're definitely gonna have to be the type of woman that is into a more masculine smell because this is getting very masculine. But I enjoy this fragrance, I really do. The leather in it is very nice. You know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm not the biggest fan of leather when it comes to fragrances because they can come off smelling very synthetic to me. They can just come off smelling like not natural and a little bit kind of chemical. Do I want to say chemically? They can smell very synthetic and kind of chemical like in my opinion. So I'm very cautious when I buy fragrances that carry a note of leather in them the leather in addition to the pines the woods the patchouli that is really what i'm pulling from this fragrance it is blended to perfection i will tell you that but i get a lot of woods and there is a mention of rose in this fragrance i don't pull much rose to be honest with you i mean if it's there, I mean, she's like so far in the background. I mean, the star of this fragrance is going to be the woods. Now, this fragrance is supposed to uh, mimic the woods in Colorado. So this is like a nod to uh, Colorado. And I have been to Colorado before. I have hiked in Colorado. I enjoyed it. It's beautiful, so serene and calming. I enjoy my time there. So when I smelled this fragrance, I was instantly taken back to that moment when I spent like a weekend in Colorado hiking. So they hit it on the nail with that. But again, in my opinion, I feel like this is gonna be for the fellas. I think the fellas are really gonna enjoy this. I would love to smell this on a man. I think that that's the vibe that this fragrance is giving. Now, I will say this. The dry down is amazing. The dry down is very soft and very kind of um, creamy and I feel like that's from that sandalwood. Again, the rose is not there for me in the dry down either, okay? So I don't know where the rose is at, but I love the dry down. That's where I feel like I could wear this fragrance, but it's kind of silly to think that you know, you have to spend 30 to 45 minutes because that's really how long a good dry down takes. It takes almost an hour um, on skin. And that's kind of silly that you have to kind of push through the dry down to enjoy the fragrance if you're going to, if you're like a woman 
that's gonna wear this fragrance. I feel like if you get this fragrance, you definitely should be a person that loves a full bodied, okay, woody, somewhat earthy, leather fragrance. You're gonna have to be that person to enjoy this fragrance because that's what this fragrance is all about, in my opinion. I'm gonna hold on to this one. <laughs> Even though it's very masculine, it's something about this fragrance that is very, uh, I'm really, really attracted to. There's like, it has a magnetism to this fragrance. So, you know, but again, I think it would smell great, amazing on a guy. Like, oof, oof. This would definitely smell. A man would rock the hell out of this fragrance. It is simply gorgeous. So I do give it a 10 out of 10. I think it's beautiful. You guys know M Method Love fragrances are not um, cheap in my opinion. I think this particular fragrance is gonna run you about $200. So take that as you will, but I think it's a great fragrance. If you are looking for a fragrance to gift a guy, birthday, Father's Day is not that far away. Whatever the occasion may be, I would highly recommend this fragrance. It's beautiful. So this is Red Colorado from M Megalev. Mm. So I do have a little beverage that I'm sipping on. Y'all know I'm not really a drinker, but it's Sunday and I'm having a little Sunday fun day in my apartment talking to you guys about fragrances. Now this is a peach Bellini, but it came in a can and I was watching, I don't know who the hell I was watching. I watch a lot of influencers I like to watch their vlogs and stuff like that. And somebody mentioned this. And I don't know, girl. It's it's giving peach. But it's giving aluminum can peach. But I opened it up and I'm going to drink it. <laughs> I'm going to drink the whole can. I don't know if I'm going to open up another one. But we're going to enjoy this. So happy Sunday fun day. All right. Moving on to my next fragrance. This is from the house of Boho Boco. This is Jasmine White Leather. Guys, if you have not, if you have not looked into Boho Boco fragrances, honey, you are missing out. You've probably heard of Wet Cherry Liquor, more than likely for me, because I received that fragrance in PR from them last year when the whole cherry craze was going on and everybody was all about cherry. I love that cherry fragrance. I know a lot of you guys don't care for it and it reminds you a lot of Tom Ford Slash Cherry Hill. It reminds me a lot of Tom Ford Slash Cherry, but you've probably heard about Boho Boco because of wet cherry liquor. I've done a whole video on their fragrances, which I, if I remember, I will link it up top. <laughs> but every time I edit my videos, I be forgetting to link my videos up top. Anyway, um, I love their fragrances. This is a brand that thinks outside the box when it comes to fragrances. I mean, nothing is too big. Nothing is too big to be thought of with this brand. And that's why I love them so much. Their fragrances, yet, yes, yes, they can be a little complicated. And I know we don't like complication. I know we don't. But they are amazing. They are definitely a brand you should get a discovery kit from and try them out. I guarantee you, you will find something unique. You will find something beautiful. You will find something different. Hell, you, they're amazing. They are amazing. And I adore Boho Boco so, so much. Just when I think about fragrances and how they make me feel and how they open up different, you know, areas in my imagination, I'm always reminded of Boho Boco because they give me that feel. They just present me with something different every single time. I look forward to receiving their <laughs> packages. I'm not even gonna lie. I look forward to receiving their fragrances because I know, I know I'm gonna be blown away. I love their packaging, their bottles are, they give a minimalistic vibe, but yet 
classy okay i love the see-through glass i love this velvet top <sighs> amazing I, I can just go on and on and on talking about boho boco because they they just have a special place in my heart at this present moment in time i love them a lot but anyway we're gonna get into this one this is actually a fairly new release from the brand this is called jasmine white leather it's very different it is very very different this fragrance is going to speak to the individual who doesn't mind stepping outside of the box you don't mind trying new things you don't mind smelling different from everybody else this fragrance is for that individual their fragrances are for those individuals <sighs> The leather in this fragrance, y'all, top tier. Top tier. Do you hear me? Top tier. And I've only felt that way about two other fragrance brands that incorporate leather in their fragrances. Isn't that is Tom Ford? Y'all know Tom Ford can do the hell out of a leather fragrance. Y'all know this. The other brand is Fragrance Dubois. I have Milano from them that is a leather fragrance and honey that fragrance <sighs> I don't think I've ever smelled a uh, leather fragrance with Jasmine now let's talk about Jasmine real quick y'all Jasmine is just one of those different type of white florals it I still to this day to this day have not really fallen in love with jasmine like i look at jasmine and i look at tuberose kind of the same they are very heady florals to me heady white florals that are very hit or miss it's either i'm gonna love it or i'm gonna hate it i have a very love hate relationship with both of those florals but in this fragrance I'm not mad at it. It's kind of taking a back seat to the leather, but they, they blend very well. They marry very well in this fragrance. And I love that. This fragrance in the opening, how can I put this? It's very much in your face, okay? It is very much in your face. It's, you're gonna be like, oh, I don't know about this one like that's gonna be your first impression but once you wear it throughout the day you change your mind it just it has a way of just like <sighs> what's the word I want to use it just wraps me up it gets me caught up I am caught this fragrance gets me caught up okay it gets me caught up. You gotta give it respect. Like, I gotta give this fragrance respect for real, y'all. Like, seriously. I actually wore this when I first got it for several days. I could not put it down. Next to the other fragrance that they sent me, both of these were very, very intriguing to me. I couldn't put it down. I wore it to work. Interesting thing is, in the dry down, people around me could pick up the clove. The clove actually kind of smelled a little smoky, okay? And <laughs> the doctor that I work for, he was like, you smell like smoke. And I was like, well, it's actually not smoke. It's actually clove. But if you guys know clove, you can actually smoke clove. A lot of people um, smoke clove cigarettes or whatever. So I can understand why he would say I smelled like kind of smoky. I was thinking somebody would pick up on the leather because this fragrance, in my opinion, is all about the leather. But now nah, you you pick up on the clove. And so when I read that note, it reminded me of when he said that to me. Now I don't get a lot of lavender. Thank you. Uh, I get a lot of jasmine. Now the violet probably gives this fragrance something a little powdery in my opinion i don't get much rose either i am picking up a lot of leather as i will continue to say this fragrance in my opinion is all about the leather note and it's an amazing leather this leather is top tier it 
darn near smells like a brand new leather bag. And I love that smell. The leather in a car, leather bags, leather boots, whatever, leather coats. It's very reminiscent of that. And I can appreciate how really, really close the leather gets to smelling very authentic in this fragrance. Like, damn, I, how did you do that? I'm so glad they took the time to pick the proper leather for this fragrance because anything else, it just, I don't think it would have came off. It, it wouldn't have, anything else, it wouldn't have translated the way it's translating in this fragrance. Again, you guys, this is Jasmine White Leather from Boho Boco. And check out that juice. Isn't that juice beautiful? That juice just reminds me of like an emerald, uh, like a piece of jewelry. It's just beautiful. I love it. So this next fragrance I want to talk about uh, was gifted to me actually uh, this past week. And y'all know, I'm going to just be honest with y'all. Just a real true moment of transparency. I'm not even going to front. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I love getting fragrances from brands. I love when I receive PR packages. Hell, it's about freaking time. Y'all know how long I've been doing this? Blood, sweat, tears, the whole bit. So now I'm at a point where I'm actually receiving PR packages. Yay for me, okay? I'm not even gonna downplay it for y'all. I'm not. I love it. But on the flip side, um, it it's kind of like, man, when brands reach out to me and they offer to send me fragrances, like I want to try them, but a part of me does feel a little somewhat not obligated because I'm gonna always keep it real with y'all. But I pray that I'm I love the fragrance when I get it. I pray that I love the fragrance when I get it because my channel and who I am as uh, an, uh, an influencer. Uh, <laughs> I'm still not used to saying that word, but my brand of who I am and what I want to deliver to you guys is always transparency and honesty. A lot of times I get a, some anxiety and I get nervous because, you know, this is their hard work, sweat and tears too, that they put into their fragrances and, you know, they're artists or whatever. And you know, you I never want to crap on anybody's uh, work at all. So you know, I'm very selective when it comes to receiving um, PR packages. It's like, ooh, I really want to get it. And and the whole while, I'm praying that I love it. I said all that to say I received a fragrance in the mail from a company called Brent, and I believe that they are a fairly new perfume house or a fragrance company and they sent me their first ever fragrance release and it's called Genesis. I want to give you guys a close-up of this bottle. Man, this bottle is absolutely stunning. This bottle is so beautiful. The bottle is weighty. I mean, it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So they had me at Hello with the bottle but y'all the juice the juice oh my god it's everything the juice is everything they are not on fragrance cut yet but i'm pretty sure at some point they will be on fragrance cut. i just want to give this fragrance a spray even though i've already sprayed it all over my entire body the joy, the joy that I get when I smell this fragrance is just everything, everything. I was so relieved. It was like weight lifted off of me when I received this, this perfume because it smells amazing. Now, in this fragrance, you're going to get notes of... Actually, let me just go to the website right quick because I, I don't want to do it any injustice. This is an Eau de Parfum. This bottle is 100 ml and they are an American brand. Love that, okay? Not saying that I don't like y'all the French brands either. I love y'all too. This fragrance has not 
been out that long. I think this fragrance is uh, was released about maybe three months ago. So this is a fairly new fragrance. I want to speak to uh, Javanol because I've never heard of that particular note in fragrances before and how they break it down on the website. It is a molecule component reminiscing of creamy sandalwood and rose. It creates a powerful sillage. The other thing I want to make mention is cashmere fusion. It utilizes a complex mole molecular distillation process and rounds out the fragrance with a sensual velvety silhouette. If velvet had a smell, it would smell like Genesis. This fragrance is so soft and sensual and I can just imagine that velvety touch. It, come, it translates in this fragrance a lot. There's a hint of tobacco that I get in this fragrance, which makes it, I feel like it will appeal to a man, okay? This fragrance is very unisex in my opinion, but because of that hint of tobacco, it could go either way. The rose is giving me like a red rose in full bloom that's kind of, not necessarily like it's on its way out, but it's so beautiful. You don't even want to throw it away. You just want to see it all the way to the end. If, that's, if that makes sense to you guys, it's not like a pinky um, rose bud in my opinion. It's a full bloomed, opened red rose that is just simply gorgeous. It, this fragrance is amazing. Now this fragrance does put me in the frame of mind of fragrances like Oud Bouquet, um, Shagoff Oud, things like that, okay? It does remind me of that. It also kind of gives me a slight Middle Eastern feel um, in this fragrance, but the fragrance is simply gorgeous. This is like a magical type of fragrance. I feel very sexy when I wear this fragrance. It, this fragrance makes me feel beautiful. It makes me feel empowered. It makes me feel sexy. Did I say sexy already? This fragrance has like an erotica to it. An erotic feel, very, very kind of naughty almost in my opinion and I I'm here for it honey I'm here for all the naughtiness I'm here for the naughtiness okay oh my god it's just amazing this fragrance I feel like is definitely giving me sexy date night I mean you could wear this in the daytime depending on where you're going I don't know if I would pull this for an office fragrance unless you're a man I think if you're a guy you could wear this in the office daytime. But as for me, um, I think I would probably more than likely only wear it in the evening because it's, it's very elegant. It's giving elevated, okay? It's giving opulence, extravaganza, okay? It's giving formal wear, it's giving sexy black dress, it's giving tuxedo. It's just giving all the things, honey. It's giving all the things. This is just a beautiful scent. I highly recommend this 10 out of 10, okay? And the brand was nice enough to give me a discount code. I will pop it up here. It is Amanda15. You guys, I'm not making any money off that code. That code is just for you to get 15% off of the cost of this fragrance for the 100 ml runs at 130 which i think is amazing because this fragrance could easily easily in my opinion go for 250 period 250 no questions asked but at 130 dollars that's that's a pretty damn good deal and you're gonna get 15 percent off if you use the code honey so again this is genesis from brent so let's get into my last two fragrances. Both of these are from the house of Latafa. 
and I got them both off of fragranceby.ca. I'm lying. I got this one from Amazon and I didn't want to pay what I paid for it, but at the time, I want to say fragranceby.ca was sold out. So I went ahead and bought it off of Amazon. This is Bright Peach. Now this one I did get from fragranceby.ca because this one has not shown up on Amazon and not that from what I've seen anyway. There's another uh, cherry type of fragrance that's on Amazon, but it's not Maison Alhambra, okay? It's a different type of cherry, so just be careful with that when you're on Amazon. But both of these are from the house of La Talpa, but they fall under Maison Alhambra. Let's go ahead and start with the peach first. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, straight up. I don't like Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. I've talked about that before in a previous video. There's something in that fragrance that just does not sit right with me at all. And I like peach. Like, I like to eat peach and the whole bit. I like peach candy. I'm a peach girl, you know. But there was something about that Tom Ford Bitter Peach that just didn't sit right in my spirit. I sprayed it on my skin several times, at least three or four times, just to make sure that things hadn't changed. Because you know, when you're building a collection, you will smell a fragrance and it's not, you know, anything that you're into. And then six months down the road, you'll go back and smell that same fragrance and it'll just be everything you ever imagined, okay? You feel so different about the fragrance. That's never happened with me and Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. I didn't like it from day one and I don't like it today. <laughs> I just don't like it. This because of the hype. I'm not even gonna lie. This was because of the hype. This is what the bottle looks like. Very much giving Tom Ford, everything down from the packaging to um, the bottle, as you guys can see. This is Tom Ford. Like, I mean, if you just did like a one two glance, you would think this was a Tom Ford bottle. Honey, LaDue is duping everything. Now, I will tell you what, this is not a bad fragrance. Now, there is something different with this fragrance than with the Tom Ford. Let's pull up the notes with the Tom Ford. I don't know the notes in Bitter Peach. Let's see if Bitter Peach is on Fragranceica. By the way, if I've been calling this Bitter Peach, this is not Bitter Peach. This is Bright Peach. Yes, Bright Peach is on Fragranceica. The notes include peach, green leaf, blood orange, in the middle you get patchouli, in the base you get honey and honey, honey and cognac. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it's the honey that was in bright peach, that, I mean, bitter peach. Child, bit, bright, bitter, ugh. Bitter peach, you get peach, blood orange, cardamom, heliotrope, rum, cognac, divana, jasmine, Patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood, tonka, benzoin, cashmere, and styrax, labdomen, ladanum, and vetiver. So in this one, you get honey and cognac. I'm not mad at this one though. You know what's so interesting? The more I smell the bright peach, the more I actually kind of start to dig it a little bit. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's the honey in it. Maybe it's the blood orange. I don't know. I'm getting straight up peach, like a hard candy peach. And I actually like that. I like the cognac in it because it does have a little bit of booziness to it. And the honey, the honey and honey child, another love hate note. Cause sometimes honey can just be too much. Like in a lot of John Paul Gaultier fragrances, he just in scandal, the honey is just too much for me but in this fragrance it is it's just right it's like the right amount of honey in this fragrance this fragrance is actually fun it is bright like the name says bright peach this is an eau de parfum i'm actually digging this this fragrance is growing on me 
I don't see myself buying the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. I just don't. They, they're the same, but they're different. Okay, for real. I can get behind this one for sure, for sure. Now let's talk about the longevity and the projection. I feel like if I go in with the sprays, this fragrance will have a nice moderate projection. It will create a beautiful scent bubble. The longevity is not too bad either. I want to say this gave me about a good five or six hours solid of wear. To be honest with you, I was quite surprised with the longevity of this fragrance. But this is an amazing scent. Now, I did hear a little rumor that these fragrances are going to be discontinued. I don't know how true that is or what, but if you're interested in getting bitter peach, child, bright peach, if you're interested in getting bright peach, how am I going to be looking right at the word bright and still say bitter? Make it make sense. If you're interested in Bright Peach by Maison Alhambra, AKA La Tapa, AKA La Dupe, you need to jump on it, baby, because I don't know how long these fragrances are gonna be available. So I would recommend this one, totally, totally. Next one is Lovely Cherry. Now I've been saying Lovely Cherry, a lot of people have been saying Lovely Cherry, but it's actually Lovely Cherie. Again, the packaging is Tom Ford, Tom Ford is getting Tom Ford bottle, is giving everything. And I'm wondering if the rumor is true that these are gonna be discontinued, it's probably because they got too close to the real deal. Honey, it's okay to get close, but this, the, <laughs> now let's hop up. Girl, you know better now, you know better. Let's get into lovely Cherie. Cause I've been saying lovely cherry is lovely Cherie. This it gives me Tom Ford's Lost Cherry right off the back. Okay, right off the rip, right at first spray. It's giving Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now I will say in the opening there is a slight little medicinal smell that I pick up in this fragrance, but it fades very, very quickly and you get Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. You get that beautiful, uh, creamy cherry note. You get the booziness from this fragrance. Like, it is giving Tom Ford Lost Cherry realness, okay? For sure. Now, I do have another Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe. I also have a Tom Ford, an actual Tom Ford Lost Cherry a uh, travel a purse spray that I've had for a while that I'm just kind of using sparingly because I don't know if I want to invest that amount of money in Lost Cherry. And then I have other fragrances from like Kayali, the Love Fest fragrance. I have Wet Cherry Liquor from Boho Boco. So I don't necessarily know that I want to spend you know, upward of $200 on a bottle of Lost Cherry. I guess if I did my research, I can get it for less than that. But still, y'all know the longevity is not there. The projection is not there, even though it is an amazing scent. It's one of the most talked about fragrances in Fratcom, but I don't know if I wanna spin the coin. You feel me? I'm gonna enjoy this dupe. I like this a lot. I could definitely see myself layering this fragrance with other things. Y'all know we always layering fragrances with Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Like that fragrance is so kind of like universal. You could just pretty much layer it with anything in my opinion. But I'm going to be layering this. I'm going to be wearing this individually on its own. I do like this fragrance. Again, if you are interested, you need to go to fragranceby.ca if they still have them available. If not, sign up for the email notification so when they do uh get you know back in stock you will be notified immediately and you can hop on it because that's what i did but again this is giving tom ford lost cherry realness okay so if you want it jump on it this is lovely cherie by maison alhambra yeah alhambra those were my newest additions into my fragrance collection if you have anything that i talked about 
end the video comment down below let me know what you have let me know how y'all feeling about the latafa dupes if y'all want me to do a dedicated video on all the latafa fragrances that i have in my collection hit the thumbs up button like this video comment down below do a latafa video and i will do that for you guys because truth be told latafa makes some really great fragrances and i'm kind of thinking i might buy a few more of their fragrances so let me know if y'all want a dedicated video on latafa if you're into fragrances i would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below make sure it turns gray turn on your notification bells that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video and you don't miss out thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're having a fabulous day and i hope you are smelling good doing it i will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye